So I'm just folding and stitching here. You know, I, I'm only using one, whoops, thin cloth, bigger knot. I think probably, you know, using a single thread is it's kind of uh, more refined when you're trying to put one patch into a set of other patches. You know, one single thread of embroidery thread is not really one single thread. It is applied thread. The original quilt, or the original patchwork design, kind of becomes the sketch here. So this becomes a lot like sketching sketch because you just use the old seam lines as your sketch lines and fit um, or manipulate the new piece of cloth <coughs> into the old design. Of course you don't have to do that either but you can pretty much restore the original from you know on the original base plan But over time, especially if you just use uh, maybe what's on hand or even what you happen to really like or happen to be focused on at the moment, you can transform the old cloth into a new cloth in so many different ways. It's not just patching a hole. But it's also bringing the cloth forward into the future and, you know, for instance, I probably would not have even had this cloth or even maybe considered uh, using uh, a naturally dyed cloth in this, in this design. It's really not pink, which is part of the original plan. It is a really nice thin linen though, which makes things easier. Trying to do this kind of patching with a thick cloth is, well, it's not practical because you're going to end up with kind of a, a lot of thickness around here. So this, I would pick, you know, thinner cloth to patch with. Of course, that may mean that, well, maybe not. Depending on the cloth itself, it may not wear out any faster. I'm not going to knot here, I'm just going to take some back stitches. Looks almost as if it could have been there originally, right? If you didn't know what was there before. And it's good enough, maybe better. <laughs> 